Hey everybody, this is Josh Suv, aka Ask Joshy on YouTube, and today I'm bringing you a game between Eek, aka Mr. E on Team Liquid, and this is Jimmy, aka Silent Assassin on TeamLiquid.net. So, this is Jimmy spawning as the purple Terran up in the top right, and Eek as the red Zerg down in the bottom left. The map is Steps of War. Eek had a little trouble last week with his computer in the ITL, so we didn't really get a good chance to watch him play, but now this is going to be a best of three for the IC Cup TV League number nine, uh, Sheth's Return, and Sheth is going to be playing QXC later on tonight for the title match. Um, but for now, Eek trying to you know, impress us all uh, last week, again, unable to finish his match against Future, so he wants a little bit of redemption. This is Jimmy, last week playing against LZ Gamer. LZ Gamer actually took him 2-1, but so he, he, this is Jimmy, fell down the contention list a little bit, gonna try and redeem himself here as well against Eek. And these are both very, very good players, you know, top of their platinum divisions. Uh, better than I can hope to be, because I just cast and watch too many games instead of playing. But uh, these scouts of Eek and this is Jimmy both going to run into each other in the middle of the map, give themselves a little high five, and Eek is going to wander right into this is Jimmy's base with no contention. Might even get a couple of hits on this SCV before, yep, this is Jimmy comes and responds with a second SCV. So if Eek can keep on that SCV, he might be able to kill it before he goes down. He's going to give it a try. Only two more hits on this SCV and it'll be enough, but the drone having to evade this other SCV, look how hidden that SCV is. You cannot see him from any angle. Oh, there he is. If uh, Eek can just switch his camera, if he can find the time to micro and switch his camera view, he will be able to find it. Oh, he's too late. The barracks finished. But he did get an SCV kill, so if he gets out right now, he will be the victor uh, with that SCV kill. So good job, Hero Drone. Uh, Tech Lab already coming out. Wow, I missed the uh, early gas there, but this is Jimmy just because of that so super exciting drone versus SCV battle. Eek also taking a fast expansion um, after starting his spawning pool and getting an extractor around the same time. So Eek actually, oh well, it looks like Eek got that hatchery first before any of it because it is pretty far along already. But um, typical stuff out of both players. This is Jimmy actually trying to build a bunker outside of this natural. Um, he only brought one SCV along for the ride, and I don't think Eek is going to allow that to happen. So this is Jimmy's SCV gets chased out, no problem. He's going to send a second SCV now to continue the harassment, but this hatchery is already completed. The spawning pool should be, yep, the spawning pool's done as well. So with that overlord spawning i'm sure eek is going to prepare and start building a couple of uh zerglings to help fight this off but it looks like these drones are such ballers they don't even really care oh this is jimmy getting a reaper on the scene that'll slow down eek and this bunker will be uh, finishing very soon you know zerglings are on the way but the bunker is going to finish will this is jimmy yes he will get his reaper into the bunker on time but um, they are quickly slain and <laughs> forced to run away. Uh, you know, this is Jimmy. Pretty nice move. Getting a little bit lucky being able to finish that bunker just before the Zerglings came out. And now he's just going to sit and repair. He can actually even send this SCV in to um, be safe. But now this Queen coming up along with all the Zerglings. He's going to try and take out this bunker with the SCV there. I gotta say it'd be a quicker move to kill that SCV. And he is not going to be able to do it just yet. There he goes. And the queen and the four zerglings still trying to take out this bunker. At least it's not being repaired anymore. And this queen, not taking extra damage from the reapers, is going to be able to kill it on its own. This bunker is actually going to burn down. But this is Jimmy has a third reaper on the scene. And they are going to be pretty uh, tough to you know deal with for Eek. Obviously being unable to expand already. If he can get these reapers microed pretty well, he's going to be able to kill these zerglings no problem. And probably be able to take out this queen. Um... We'll just have to see if he's able to do it before losing all his reapers. You know, he really wants that queen kill, but if he has to kill a bunch of zerglings first to do it, um, he may end up not getting the kill. And, the, you know, I'm actually a little surprised he's continuing with this. It looks like he had some early success with the reapers, but at this point, I can't really condone continuing with this push. Um, he really wants that hatchery dead, though, and he's in a good position to do it. Hopefully he can snipe this drone before it starts building that spine crawl. Oh no, so all these zerglings trying to surround. It looks like one of these reapers. Oh, excellent cliff jump right there. Perfect timing to get away from those lings. And, uh, you know, reapers do siege damage against these um, buildings. You know, pretty good damage. Let me check actually what it is. 
30 damage a grenade, and so three Reapers able to take out that hatchery and all these broodlings chasing the reapers they're gonna get away uh, no problem these broodlings die over time anyway so this is jimmy with two full health reapers well not anymore i spoke a little soon but uh if he if eek is able to focus fire even just a little bit he'll, he'll be able to kill at least one of these reapers probably even two pretty quickly um you know he is forced to build zerglings over and over and over while he gets this lair tech up and this queen that ran away from the natural expansion earlier is probably going to go down here in just a moment and there he goes so th actually this is jimmy in perfect condition here just blowing through he actually left a reaper over here outside of the natural but uh for now what did what happened <laughs> all those zerglings must have spawned at once i see a lot of blood there but i'm actually very surprised i did not think that was gonna happen Oh man, so Eek able to battle it off after all. Man, good timing with the Zerglings. His Reapers must have been really out of position for the Zerglings to be able to kill them like that. But, uh, you know, this is Jimmy taking advantage, full advantage, of all this harassment play that he's been doing. He's got an expansion up with an Orbital Command, and he's got a Thor out on the field that's going to be sniping this Overlord slowly but surely. As the range on the Thor's air to ground is like a bajillion. Yes, 10 range. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's longer than a Colossus's upgraded range, if you know how long that is. So, uh, Another barracks coming up for this is Jimmy. That'll put him at two barracks and a Thor producing factory. Also got an engineering bay up, but I don't um, No, he hasn't upgraded anything yet, so it'll be interesting to see if he just built that to get turrets or what. But now Eek with a counter-offensive. A lot of Zerglings trying to take on this Thor, but a planetary <laughs> fortress. <laughs> Uh, Eek just says, yikes, GG. He knows he's behind. He saw the Thor, he saw the Planetary Fortress. He knows he's been out-expanded. Oh man, this is Jimmy taking this first game. No problem.